Legend of Total War here, and today we've got an interesting scenario that's been sent in to us. So, playing as Ivress, he has managed to steal a whole bunch of heroes from other factions. Now, this isn't limited just to Ivress, you can technically do this with any faction, uh, but High Elves are the easiest faction to do this with. So, he's stolen, let's see, he got a Warlock Engineer, a Runesmith, a uh, Kislev Frost Maiden of Tempest, a Skaven Chieftain, Two more runesmiths, another Skaven Chieftain, another runesmith, a Thane, and a Packmaster over here. And um, this is very impressive because I've, I've known about being able to steal enemy, well not enemy heroes, allied heroes for a while now. I've just not really made a video on it. So this is how you do it, right? It's difficult to do, which is why it's impressive that he managed to get so many of them. Um, you have to get a military alliance with another faction. Um, so if, let's just use an example. You're playing as High Elves, you get an alliance with the Skaven. Then, with the Skaven, you have to wait until one of their heroes has reached rank 20 and becomes immortal. And then you need to borrow that army that the hero is attached to. So it also needs to not be attached to a Legendary Lord, because you can't borrow Legendary Lord's armies. So you've got an immortal hero that's attached to an army that you're borrowing. Then you need to go into a battle and get that hero wounded. So completely lose all of itself, or wait for it to get assassinated, but that's unreliable. And you can't force that on yourself, so you just... It's easier to just go into a battle and get that dude ki killed. Now, when that um, character is wounded, it is pulled out of the army and becomes part of your faction permanently, because it no longer is required to remain attached to the army that you borrowed. And when you give that army back, you get to keep that hero. Um... And you've done that quite a few times there. That's extremely difficult. He's got no requirement to give him back either, even if he ends up going to War the Factions. I have no idea which Skaven factions he got this from. I, I can tell that he got the heroes from Karaza Karak, because if we go over here and look at them, we can see that they actually like him a lot. So we can see that he probably had like a past military alliance with them. But because the endgame crisis happened, it pulled pulled him out of it. And we can see that uh, he didn't have to give him back. That's, that's what it looks like happened. So, as an example of another faction you could possibly steal from, that you've got an alliance with. So let's have a look at this one over here, Balthazar Geld. You can't borrow this army, so that's not going to work. This army here has got a hero. So if this hero here, for example managed to be rank 20, which I doubt it, based on his skills there. You borrowed the army, then get this guy wounded in battle, you get to keep him permanently. Um, you still got to pay their upkeep cost, as we can see here. No They're not free. Uh, but there are some combinations of heroes that can really benefit certain factions. So, for example, Warlock Engineer, for the High Elves, would be incredibly beneficial because it provides a whole bunch of stuff that High Elves can't get normally. Um, increased mobility, no, no High Elf hero provides that, so extra campaign movement range, super good. Um, extra reload time reduction, extra ammunition, missile strength, ballistics calibration, extra range, really good for Sentinels of Astaral. And then, of course, you've got these borrowed armies over here. But if I cancelled the military alliance with, um, with Reichland, I would uh, have to give those back. Whereas I don't ever have to give these back. Um, you've got runesmiths, which are able to provide uh, sharpened weapons, which is obviously really good. Uh, what are some other really good examples? Like, Lizardman heroes would be good. Maybe getting some Wood Elf heroes could be good, because they've got some really cool abilities. Um, but yeah, just getting a whole bunch of different heroes from other factions would be really, really, really good. Now, another thing to keep in mind as well is that some of these heroes are using up capacities that... Uh, like that you've increased for your own heroes you don't you don't get a whole new capacity for them and the way to determine this is based on their um their like the icon of the hero so for example the this one here is being marked from the where is it the pack master here it's got the growth symbol so i imagine that is actually using up the same capacity as a handmaiden so if we go to one of your settlements here and we have a look um, yeah, handmaidens have this exact same symbol. So, we'll do it afterwards. I'll disband that hero, which, which, which will actually kill it, and we'll see if the hero capacity for that actually goes down. So, spread control, that one there is probably um, using the noble capacity. Um, the money one, it's probably... Actually, I'm not sure if that's, if that's being used by anyone. And this one here is probably the wizards, because uh, they've got the... 
If we have a look over here. They've got the same one. Yeah, see, the um, the nobles... Okay, the nobles use this one here. So, no, that's not. they would not be using the same capacity. It'd be the Lawmaster of Hoeth that the chieftains would be using the same capacity of. Anyway, we're just going to fight a, a quick battle over here just to just to see how silly this is. Could go up against a much larger force over here, but I just want to... I don't want this to be a, a particularly long battle. I'm going to fight a battle here just to see how it goes. Um, now, truth be told, when he sent this army in... Um, it had a lot more sentiment of the Star Rule, and these heroes were just, um, like, encircling the army. But I thought it would be more interesting to just throw in all the heroes into the army. So I just banned a whole bunch of Sentinels of the Star Rule. Because the thing is, I've already covered a Sentinel of the Star Rule Doomstack. We already know it's really good. I don't want this video to be about that. You know, I, I appreciate people making or improving upon existing good Doomstacks, but... We've got to make these videos interesting and just showcasing Sentinels of the Star Rule doing their thing again. I, we've just done that recently and people want to see something different, I think. Even though what I did, I think, was actually weakening the army quite significantly. But like I said, we've already covered that. So what we want to do here, I don't really want to use this that much. I want to use the heroes. Okay, and explain how this, um, this band over here can actually work together better than they could have in their own race and just to sort of explain how these heroes can complement each other okay so for one thing okay with um with the skaven uh, chieftains they are obviously normally part of the skaven faction now as the skaven faction you don't have any heal magic all right let's get in there together never thought i'd side fight by side with a skaven anyway what about side by side with an elf? Whatever. <laughs> it's what me memes. So, what we're doing here? Use these guys as a team. Of course, they're slowed down by the dwarfs, but that's okay. We can heal the dwarfs with this. It's also got like a Kislev wizard. Maybe these two wizards should stay back a little bit. Hellstorm Rocket Battery providing some assistance. That's it, get in there. Hellstorm Rocket Battery is doing their job from afar there. Okay, let's use a rune of speed. And a rune of negation on... No, no one's really taking any specific damage there. Alright, I'm going to send Eltharion in. To send the whole lot in. Because the Hillstorm rocket batteries are just like bombarding the area anyway. We've got a whole bunch of items. we got this one over here, which will provide Guardian. So we get some physical resistance. Quite like the rune of speed. If you want to get extra armor in there, you can do that. Also, these pack masters, sorry, the chieftains are providing ward save for Eltharion. As long as they've got that skill, which I'm assuming he does. Eltharion's able to heal them. A life wizard would have been a better attachment into this sort of army for sure. Because both the dwarfs. Kislev and the Skaven don't have access to to that heal magic. So yeah, what might actually be really good as well, I think if you actually get rid of all the Sentinels of the Star Rule and get maybe some more Hellstorm Rocket Barriers, get, obviously only can get two more, and uh, just bomb from afar and just have the heroes tank while we heal could very easily go up against a lot more force than this. Nah, that's not that big of a deal. Health potion, whatever, use it. I don't think Kislev magic is very good at all. Um, I really wouldn't use any of these spells. Yeah, I just wouldn't use them. Not over um, high magic anyway. High magic's way better. 
Just, you would never normally see this. A lot of effort had to go into to get this to happen. So I definitely appreciate that. So yeah, I could definitely see with maybe a better combination of heroes, this being extremely powerful. Like imagine if you had a um, engine of the gods here as well. Like you steal a oh my God, got that targeting area. Target a um, a skink chief. Sorry, skink priest. And put it on an engine of the gods because that provides um, ward save in an area as well. What are some other things you could get? There's so many different heroes. I'm just like thinking of all the possible combinations you can make. I don't suppose any vampire heroes would be very good. Because the vampire magic... Well, I guess Wind of Death would be good, but vampire healing only affects undead units. Yeah, maybe a gunnery white from the vampire coast. What are some other combinations? Morn ghouls would be good. Yeah, they can be healed with life magic, I'm barely sure. I don't think you can steal legendary heroes. I, I I haven't heard of that being possible. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. So you don't think you're able to get Ariel or Croak. Or like the ancestor heroes. I'm, I'm just not sure. I'll need confirmation on that. But imagine if you could just get like all of the legendary heroes in the game. Imagine an army that you've got Gorich. You're not going to be able to get Koadil. Um Gorich. Ariel, Croak, the four ancestor heroes, Marcus Wolfhart's team. Just trying to think of legendary heroes that are in the game. You know, all of them working together in one army. That'd be insane. I can't they think of any more legendary heroes. Well, there's more than that. Oh yeah, that's another thing. As they um, get leveled up, your characters can be like dwarves can become sentinels so we could get this guy here to be physical resistance plus temp yeah look at this one become the sentinel i think he gave a lot of his ones the shadow or you could give them yeah okay i'll go with that one but i guess another thing that you could do if you're playing as a non high elf faction if you stole a high elf hero that had a really good trait like what if um what if you stole the fecund trait or what if you stole the um what's it called the conscientious or emollient stealing an emollient hero as the dark elves how good would that be because their biggest problem is like uh public order so if the, if you were able to as the dark elves ally with a high elf and steal a few emollient heroes you could completely mitigate the problems caused by slaves so there's lots of different combinations that you could do, but I'd say that the effort of doing it would be absolutely insane. It's just a matter of personal preference if you want to try stuff like, something like that out. But I really appreciate the effort of this one here. As for, like, how practical this is to, to make a Doomstack this way, not at all, because the amount of effort required is just absolutely insane. Um, getting a Warlock Engineer into one of these, amazing. Getting one or two of them, or even three of them, would be even better. A runesmith is great, but I really can't see any value in a lot of these other heroes. You're better off, I think, using other high elf heroes. Um, which is why I kind of just wanted to put them all together, go up against a smaller army, and uh, just uh, just use them as a band of brothers, which is something that you just wouldn't normally see. But yeah, appreciate uh, this one being sent in. Appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are well on track to 255k subscribers by the end of the year. I'll push it a bit more later down the track, but we're well on track at the moment. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for uh, signing the petition. We're now at 21,000, I think, signatures. And we'll see you next time, fuckers.